Yeah, guys, before I show you these cards, just keep in mind that I do know I'm leaving most of them out. I'm leaving them out for purpose, so just follow me here and just be satisfied with the ones that I show you. I think the ones that I show you are more important. All right? Yeah, so here they go. There were two cards bent this last list. Brionic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Future Fusion, one of my favorite cards. Five cards was limited throughout this new list. Insector Dragonfly was limited. Wind Up Carriers and Mighty was limited. Insector Hornet was also limited, a very crucial limitation. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon was limited. And this card, Ultimate Offering, was limited after it was to two. Two cards came back off the ban list, and this is very, very interesting. One of them was Spore, a very, very known playing card, and Tsukuyumi. Most players did not play the game when Tsukuyumi was out, but if you remember Tsukuyumi, you will always remember that Monarchs was very important, and you could always do some combo with Spy and Tribute for Monarch. Using our knowledge about the previous ban list, the cards you just saw are fundamentally stable in certain decks. As far as competition goes, Konami doesn't always target decks that are winning, but they also target decks that will get support in the upcoming sets or creates an unstable environment to the main target of this game and focus. Which are little kids. If a little kid goes to the tournament and always lose because of the, let's say, unfairness that an Insector deck brings because it keeps on popping, they have to try to fix that. Wind-ups wind ups didn't get touched that much. God knows why it didn't get touched that much. But I'm assuming since it was one of the only decks that focused on the Exceeds, if they touch that deck, then... Exceeds will lose play. And we need to play with the Exceeds long enough with the wind-up deck until another deck comes out and abuses the exceeding game mechanic or whatever. But I asked myself, why was Dragons touched? Dragons wasn't that good. Well, I guess I'm lying because I know I topped Nationals with Dragons and Future Fusion was busted. But they didn't have to limit Chaos Sorcerer to one. They did not have to limit Red Eyes Metal Dragon to one. Okay? But, in saying all that, how do you feel about the current game and the way we play the game as of right now? Because in my opinion, three ducks needs to get touched. One of them are Dino Rabbits. One of them are Mel Mel's. And one of them are Wind-Ups. In Japan, we see Dino Rabbits running rampant. I think that's a sign that there are cards coming out, which as we see, as this new fire archetype is coming out, Dino Rabbits just get way more stronger. You are now seeing Rabbit decks mixed in with fire because you can play Voice Raiders and that Win Neo card. And all these cards work very well with Phantom Beasts, you know? You are also seeing wind-ups. Wind-ups has been around for a while, but everyone is getting pretty tired of them now. Kids are complaining. All the pro players are sitting there comparing the wind-up deck to Exodia. Tell the truth, guys. When the opponent opens up with wind-up magician and wind-up shark, you usually get so upset that you just want to quit the game. That single play alone will leave a field of Papa Laparative, Wind Up Zen Mighty, and Shock Master with a returning Wind Up Rabbit coming back, your next standby phase. And let's face it, Marmels are fairly new. They just got some new support in the new set. So it's not that much that Konami can do to it based on them targeting new decks when a new set comes out. So, in my strong opinion, there's only one thing that can happen to the Mermel deck. But even if that one thing happens, 
Marmels will still be a deck to contend with. So, I would like to share with you three things that I think will happen March 1st. In the sense of the rabbit deck, I think Dino Rabbit will be put to one for the reasons I said earlier. In the wind-up deck, I strongly believe the only thing that they can do to that deck is limit either wind-up shock or limit wind-up magician. I would like them to limit wind-up magician, but in all fairness, I can see them limiting wind-up shock. I think I said that right. And the Mermel deck, I think they should limit Dragoon. That card is too broken. It searches out anything in a deck. And for all that, I think they should bring back a card that does the same thing. Which is Witch of the Black Forest. <laughs> yeah, guys. Share your thoughts below. Like the video. Share the video with all your friends. Remember to stay tuned and check me out on TCGplayer.com every Friday where one of my videos will be exclusively for TCGplayer.com. You already know if it's not pro, it got to go deuces.